MPLAB Harmony version 3 software framework is now configurable through Microchip's famous Code Configurator tool, MPLAB Code Configurator, or MCC. This video will discuss how to use the MCC Content Manager for MPLAB Harmony version 3 projects. The software used in this video includes MPLAB Harmony Packages, MPLAB Code Configurator, MPLAB XIDE, and MPLAB XC32 Compiler. If you are new to MCC, be sure to watch our videos, Getting Started, MPLAB XIDE Essentials Installation and Ecosystem, to install MCC, and Getting Started with MPLAB Harmony Version 3 using MPLAB Code Configurator to create a new MCC-based Harmony Version 3 project, as well as how to migrate an existing MHC-based Harmony Version 3 project to an MCC-based Harmony Version 3 project. Our goal here is to show you how to use the MCC Content Manager Wizard when creating a new project and also in an existing project. Let's start with creating a new project. To create a new project, launch MPLAB XIDE and select File, New Project. In the New Project window, select Microchip Embedded in the Categories section and then select 32-bit MCC Harmony Project in the Projects section. Click Next. Enter the path in which the MPLAB Harmony version 3 packages are downloaded and click Next. Enter the location, MPLAB X project folder and project name as shown here. Click Next. Now, enter a suitable configuration name and MCU name. For example, if the SAM E51 Curiosity Nano Kit is being used, enter AT SAM E51 J20A. Click Finish to create the MPLAB Harmony version 3 project. MPLAB Code Configurator can be opened in two ways. The first by going to Tools, Embedded, MPLAB Code Configurator version 4, open slash close, as shown here, or by clicking the MCC button. MCC opens a separate Content Manager window under which you can select the content type. Select the MPLAB Harmony content type for 32-bit microcontrollers and microprocessors. This takes us to the next window, where you can see the required content needed to create a Harmony version 3 project. This window also presents any additional content you need for your application designs under Optional Content. The required content is shown only if not already downloaded in the Harmony content path. Select the optional content based on the project requirement. For example, if the application needs to implement graphics capabilities, then the user can select the Graphics Libraries under Optional Packages. Similarly, you can select the wide range of optional packages available, as shown here. Finally, click the Finish button to download the mandatory Harmony repositories like CSP, DevPax, MHC, and QuickDocs if not downloaded already, along with the selected optional content. After successfully downloading the Harmony packages, MCC opens the Project Graph. The downloaded mandatory and optional content types are shown under the tab Resource Management, then Device Resources as shown here. Click on the plus button to add and configure resources to the project. In this way, the MCC Content Manager allows you to download and control Harmony content. Now, let's look at how to download the Harmony content using the MCC Content Manager in an existing project. Open an existing project and launch MCC. Click on the Content Manager and start typing the Harmony library that you wish to download or select the optional content as shown here. For example, if the application needs to implement USB capabilities, then the user can select the USB libraries under Optional Packages and click Apply. The downloaded Harmony packages can be verified in the Harmony content path as shown here. This is the same path configured in the MCC tool settings as shown here. And finally, 
This is the MP Lab Harmony landing page where you can find all the information about Harmony version 3. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.